Need a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My main Noodle Loon. <laughs> That's right, the Loon. Noodle Loon. I love it because, guys, today we are doing a pasta mm. dish and it is. It's, it's a oh, staple in our house. It is incredible. Yes. I think it's everyone's favorite. Let's tell them what we're doing. We're doing our. Classic, Classic lasagna. lasagna. Who doesn't love lasagna? And, I don't know anyone. And this lasagna has been in our household for, oh, since 1990, A long, 1992. Long this, is, this is the recipe that's been, this has been sitting, this has been making us happy for Many, know, many years. Yes. I, I in the village, have, in this teeny apartment in the uh, West Village in Manhattan, in so New York. I do have to say that this is, the, <laughs> this is probably one of the early recipes that got me so excited about cooking and just share, because it's <laughs> communal, you get to share it with your friends and your loved ones, and it's so good, and it's so delicious, and it's evolved as we've evolved. Yes, and it so, got me excited about his cooking. I know, I know. It actually <laughs> led to our marriage. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, we used to yeah. serve this on our yep. anniversary every day, but anyway, yes. every year. So, yep. okay. Let's Let's get to it. Let's it's gotten it. really, really good. So all these accoutrements. All of this can be made in really in advance. Um, so there are the various components. Obviously, lasagna is layered with incredible goodness. So let's talk about these amazing layers. Let's talk about this meat sauce. This is a meat lasagna. Oh, so we're going to make an amazing, incredible meat sauce. So let me see if I can get through this for you guys. How we I'll help you. How we got to this point. <laughs> so I started with a nice large skillet and I added a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and yep. I heated that over medium heat then to that I added three ounces of prosciutto. prosciutto and what I did was I finely minced it I actually used my food processor just to kind of get it finely chopped you can use a knife you can chop it however you want you could also use chopped pancetta but mm. I I've always used prosciutto it's delicious yes so then it cooks and then it starts to get really crispy and it renders some of that incredible almost like bacon well it is like bacon fat mm -hmm. delicious then we're gonna add our mirepoix yes. and that is of course our chopped Onions. onion, our chopped carrots, carrots, and our chopped celery. celery, about a cup each. <laughs> and we're going to put those into the party and we're going to let those cook until Mix they start to get uh, soft and translucent. Lucent, that's anywhere from four to eight minutes. Okay, and then to that, we it's it's Italian, so we got to add some garlic. garlic. So we're going to add four tablespoons of minced garlic, and that doesn't take long for it to cook just till it starts to mm -hmm. become aromatic about 30 yes. Seconds. Okay, then you're now gonna add the meat. it's time to add the meat. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to add, I go with 12 ounces of ground pork and 12 ounces of ground beef. Now really good quality. you want that quality. lean beef because you don't want it to, you want well, less fat so that you have less water you, or less Well, you just don't, you don't want ex fluid. excessive grease. So yeah. you want, but you don't want it so lean that it, because because the, the fat does render some flavor. That is, there's no oh, doubt about yeah. that. So I did like 85% lean, which is okay. right in the middle. That That's good. Right. Um, you could also use ground veal. That's very popular. But for this, we're doing pork and beef. Right. Okay. So we added that to the mix, and then you're just going to let that break that. You threw some up. more salt in there. Too. Yeah, I did. I added. You thank you. I added about half a teaspoon of salt because we season in layers as we go, and um, then we you just cook that, break it up with a wooden spoon until it's no longer pink, and then to that we are going to add a half a cup of nice robust red wine. If you don't drink it, don't use it. If you're not going to drink it, you're not going to want to. <laughs> In your with food, it. So, yes. So cook that until it uh, really, until it almost evaporates out, and the alcohol is going to cook out. And that's again anywhere, depending on your heat level, that's anywhere from <laughs> four to eight minutes. Now, at this point, you will see that that meat and all will have definitely rendered some fat. I don't like to cook with that much fat, fat in our in, in our in our dishes, so I remove you some of it. Scooped some of it. What out. I do is I just tilt the skillet to the side. I get a nice big spoon, and I usually remove anywhere from half to three fourths of it, leaving about two to three tablespoons. Don't get rid of all of it because there's so much flavor there. <laughs> yeah. You just yes. you 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 gotta keep some of it. It's, yes. it's so flavorful. Okay, so now to that. On so to the we, herbs. So now we're going to add some fresh herb. Fresh is great if you don't have fresh. Um, in a pinch, you could use dry. Just use half the amount that we're doing let here. Let me let me think. I, I think I've got it. So okay. you've got your basil, fresh basil, and then you've got your uh, fresh parsley, parsley, your oregano, fresh oregano, and then rosemary. Fresh rosemary. Okay, that's all going to go into the party. And you just literally put that in, and then we, and we're going to add a. Uh, no, we haven't added the salt yet. So we're going to stir that up until it's really um, just again yeah, aromatic. Just about 30 Doesn't seconds, take long. Yeah. And now we're going to add some liquid. We are going to add some a cup stock. of good quality beef stock. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. We're gonna add um, 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, get good quality. And then we're gonna add a couple of fresh bay leaves. And then I add another teaspoon of salt. Yes. And you just stir that season, until it's- Season, season, season. Yeah, until it's really well incorporated. And then you're gonna bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, lower the heat, and then just let it simmer for 30 minutes. And that's just gonna reduce right. down and become thick. And then it's and become then that this is beautiful. Lovely Look thing. at that. We let so, that cool for about a half an hour. Oh yeah, well, yeah. anyway, I mean, you, I, I would recommend letting it cool for a couple of hours. Okay. You just don't want it to be like piping hot when you start to assemble the lasagna Got because it. then it just creates everything else, a problem for everything else. All right. Okay. So let's talk about this mixture. Okay, so now we're moving on to the cheese. next. Cheese. We've got our ricotta cheese um, combination. <laughs> so we're, this is sort of like the American Italian style. We've got <laughs> cheese. A lot of times there's no cheese. This is, um, we love we're the cheese. We're cheesy. We're cheesy, in case you didn't <laughs> notice. Okay, so we've got uh, 32 ounces. That's two pounds of good quality ricotta cheese. Um, and I go whole milk ricotta because we're going the whole nine yards here. Mm -hmm. um, and then to that, we're going to add two eggs that have been lightly beaten. And then I've got um, a couple of teaspoons of chopped fresh parsley and then a teaspoon of salt and a nice healthy pinch of pepper. And then you just get a wooden spoon and you just stir that until it's fully combined. And right. that is so beautiful. Yeah. And you can, what you can do is you can, again, you just, just like the meat. Well, you can, if you're gonna, if you do this, say the day in advance or whatever, more than an hour or so before you're assembling, then just put it in the fridge. Maybe cover it with some plastic rack and put it in the fridge. Okay. So, and then this is, I've got four cups of grated mozzarella. Oh, did we talk about your marinara? Cheese here. No, I will in just a moment. Okay, okay. Give me, I'll, I'll just, <laughs> just a moment. I'm jumping ahead. I know. That's I, mean, okay. I don't know if you guys saw all these noodles that we've got out here. We've got four about. racks of, of noodles. So these <laughs> yes. are just dried noodles that you get out of the box. I mean, if you get good quality, you know I love to make homemade pasta. But but there, and there are times that something like this is really great and there's no problem with it. Mm -hmm. So the way I do it is I get a nice large pot and I have to do this in two batches because this particular lasagna it has five, five layers, layers of, of noodles. noodles. Now we're using, <laughs> let me just show you, we're using this beautiful lasagna pan that we've got right that. here. I've got a link to this in our blog post. Um, what is, what's great about this lasagna pan, it's nine by 13, um, are the edges are straight up. So you really get a full nine by 13. A lot of the, the glass nine by 13s are kind of angled in. So it really, you do have less amount of space. So um, you great. may not, if you've got a smaller pan, you may not be able to get five right. uh, layers. So, but let's assume you do, and this is the way we're gonna do it. So, so how did you cook those So noodles? the way I did the noodles is again, I did this in two batches. I, well, I did it in two different pots. Um, I got a, a large pot of water and um, I got some salt and you wanna liberally salt that Always. water. It's gonna be almost like salt water. Don't you wanna do that with pasta all the time? Yeah, you yeah. do not wanna cook pasta in unsalted water. Yes. It's just a big no-no. Okay, so then you bring that to a rolling bowl and then I just, you know, bowl. carefully boil, bowl, <laughs> and then I lowered my um, pasta in there. And you, you know, it, it was a, kind of wasn't a giant pot, so I kind of had to help quickly kind of coax the pasta down into the water so it all cooks evenly. And here's a trick. Now, so a lot of times maybe when you've had lasagna, it's when you when you bite into it or when you serve it, it's a little runny, it's too watery. There's a bunch of different components that can cause that, but the probably the biggest reason is because you let you got too much moisture in your pot, in your pasta when you put it in there. So what the way you can sort of solve that problem, this is one trick, is cook these a little undercook them. So typically these go about eight minutes and they're ready. I boil them for about seven minutes. So they're they're nice and al dente. Then I quickly remove it from the pot and um, or from the stove, and then I bring it over here, and then I get a pair of tongs, and I just take them out, and I kind of give them a good shaking. I put them on a baking sheet. We fill this baking sheet, and then we cover it with a kitchen towel, and just press on that kitchen towel yeah. until it's until nice. Until they're and, dry, nice and dry. They're dried, and we did this yeah. a, a couple hours ago, and then as they cook, they're gonna absorb some of that excess li liquid that you may have, and um, it's just, it makes a non-runny yes. lasagna. Okay, now we can start to assemble this thing. Okay, I think we are. I think I have covered all of the Except components. for your marinara. Okay, so this is my marinara. So this lasagna is so great. So you may be thinking, why do you have marinara and you have a meat sauce? Because the two just work beautifully. They together. do. We start off, let's just do this. Yeah, so this is it. my homemade um, marinara. The recipe is in the blog, is in the recipe link. Make so it. Good. 
It's so good. This can make be, a bunch and freeze it. That's what we do, and we, you know, we use it. It's great for so many things, um, but you can make this days in advance. You can make this months in advance, and then freeze it. Yes. But you're gonna want to start off with just a very, very thin layer, and we're talking like a cup of. Oh my gosh, that marinara smells so good. <laughs> we're talking about a cup. Um, yeah, we're going to keep the liquid to a minimum. Keep it to the, keep it to the, that's, and that's another uh, thing that people do is, you know, you're like, oh my God, this looks so good. And I used to do that. I, you, you overdo your layers. And if you, you know, if you do that, then you're going to, it's, your ratios are not going to be right. Okay. So now we're just going to layer yes. this in there. And you can overlap those a little bit. You can overlap we're gonna them. We're going to do four of them, right? We're going to do four of them. And then let's give the, let's give the trick. For yes. because we got this down here. So what we do, you want to show them what you're going to do? I'm going to do that right here. We just get our trusty little pizza cutter. You yeah. can do this with a knife, and you literally just cut, cut it right it down the middle. Half. Beautiful, perfect. Yep. I'm going to cut off a little bit and because, then, yeah, because so that'll that, be the length of the. Yeah, you there we you go. know, and you can eyeball this, and then if you need to think like, oh, I need to cut a little more off. There you go. Look at Perfect. that. Beautiful. Voila. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> and then I'm going to save this this one for the next layer. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So now we're going to. This is uh, this is probably a good. I would say so seven cups yeah. of meat sauce. So we're going to want to go about half of this uh, when we start. Because you're going to have two layers of meat. We're going to have two layers of meat, and we're going to have two layers of a cheese sauce. So we are going to start here. And um, again, resist the temptation to overdo it. And uh, we're going to do about three cups of this, and we're going to get it nicely thinly layered. Yes, so layer that to help me. Okay, here we go. Okay, yes. all right, so perfect. Yeah, First hey. layer done. I love the music. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, so now we've got some parm cheese. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of just freshly grated parm cheese perfect. over that. And then we are going to do some more noodles. layer of noodles, folks. Yes. Okay, now, now it's time to move on to the ricotta. To the cheese layer. Yeah, so it's the same sort of thing. We're going to just do half of this. It's going to be, um, you're going to do about two cups of this. I'm eyeballing it. If you want to actually measure this out, it actually helps you because I promise you there's about a total of four cups in here. So this is going to help you with that. And then what we are going to do is once we've, we've smoothed out two cups of this, we're going to cover it. With, with some mozzarella, with some um, mozzarella, a cup of mozzarella, and, and then, then some, some more. more Parmesan cheese, and then we're gonna do another layer of pasta. Wonderful. We have now finished our first layer. We had we started with marinara, then we had some noodles, and then we had the meat sauce, a little Parmesan cheese, another layer of noodles. We <laughs> did our uh, half of the ricotta, some of the mozzarella, and then some more um, Parmesan cheese. We layered it noodles, and now we're going to do it again. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so now, now we're ready for the final layer. Final la so now we're gonna do another layer of this incredible marinara and just put a, a oh. little, about a cup on it. It's so. You do that, I'm gonna clean up. I've got an extra noodle. What should oh, I do? Oh, well, that? you're always, <laughs> always using your noodle, I tell you. I, I always need an extra noodle. I, I tell you. <laughs> I sometimes wish we had an extra noodle. Okay, this is good. I'm being a little sloppy, but that's okay. Okay. So that is, this sauce is just to die for. And then you're definitely going to want to have some for serving purposes. Doesn't yes. that look amazing? Wonderful. Okay, so now, again, this is, we're doing it um, 
Chris and Wesley style. Chris and Wesley style, <laughs> um, sort of American Italian. So we're adding a little more mozzarella, yes. a little more cheese. We we I don't overdo time. it because then because the cheese becomes just right. too much. Um, you you want to see a little bit of the, the redness of your yeah. marinara. And it, because there. because then it's I like anything. If you do in, if you do too much of anything, then one thing starts to dominate. Uh, and, yeah, well, um, right there. Calm down on okay, that cheese. Okay, well, I mean, I'll stop. Say, okay, so <laughs> pull away. <laughs> What would I do with that? Pull away from the cheese. <laughs> it's time to pull, step away from the cheese. Okay, folks, that's all there is to it. Now, isn't that not gorgeous? That's so fabulous. I've got my oven preheated to 400. I've got Flo right here. Yep. Ch checking out the cheese. cheese that has fallen. Wait. We're going to cover this um, with foil, and it's going to bake for an hour. Now, you want to cover it with foil because it does bake for an hour. So if you let it go the whole time uncovered, that cheese on top is going to start to burn. So we're going to put it in, and after about 45 minutes, I'm going to take off this cover and let that foil, and then let it start yeah, to nice. brown on top. Yes. Oh my gosh, we're getting Can't close. Can't wait. Oh, <laughs> it smells like smells heaven in here. Incredible. All right, I think it's we're ready. We are good to go. Oh my. Oh. Wow. Oh my. Oh, right in the middle there. Pull it this way a little bit. More. Okay, there thanks so much. Just a little more. Isn't way. that incredible? Um, <laughs> I mean, guys, come on over. We're gonna have some <laughs> lasagna. All right. I don't know so, if I want anybody coming over. <laughs> I know. I want to eat it now, and I want leftovers well, for the whole week. I know these are great <laughs> leftovers. So, okay. So here's the deal with this. I mean, it's so tempting. You just want to dig in right now. But what's again? We're we're talking about. We don't want runny at lasagna. We want it to have that perfect. So when you pull it out, it's got that just nice. Yes. You know, you can see the layers. So it needs to sit a little yeah, bit. It's, it's plus, kind of like plus I can't eat that right now. It, it would, would it's very hot. Melt my mouth. Um, but it's sort of like a nice good steak. You need the the juices just to kind of like yes. settle again. You know, it's Perfect. similar to that. So I would let this sit anywhere. It could sit anywhere from 30 minutes. You should be okay after half an hour. But you could let it sit all the way up for a couple hours, and it's going to stay warm. You could cover it with foil. Mm. Um, but um, you know, and if you're going to again, you can bake this, and if you're going to serve it later, you can reheat it, or you can slice it and then reheat it. The you know the possibilities are endless. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of chopped parsley on here, <laughs> you know, just to give it a little, that Italian color. Oh, oh my I gosh, it's right. so beautiful. Okay, folks. All right. And then meanwhile, we're going to, just before serving, we're going to heat up that homemade marinara because we're going to put a little layer of that on the bottom of the dish. <laughs> See a little bit. Oh, oh folks. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe that I've had to wait an hour I this. know. The time has come. It's eating time. Oh my, my gosh. Look you, at I that. I mean, you serve this. Bring this to your church potluck. Bring this to whatever or have people come over. Or and have it for your anniversary. Have it for your anniversary <laughs> like we love to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now this has literally been sitting here. We did let this sit for almost an hour. Oh. And the pan is still beautifully warm. Now so. while you're cutting that, I'm just going to quickly ladle myself a little marinara so this is that homemade bed. marinara that yes. we talked about and just a little bit of it just a little yeah exactly a little small little bed is you know you, it's just perfect okay look at that, that okay good. i always get nervous i just Don't want to be nervous i know i know i just want it to be perfect okay look at that folks that looks great okay that's all i'm gonna do yes that's all just, it needs. it'll just Okay, let me just make sure everything is free for a clean escape. Okay, and the first one's always a little tricky, yeah. so you know. Um, I know everybody me. knows that, so don't forgive be me if it's a little. Okay, and I'm gonna come over to you. <gasps> right out of there. And there's the cheese pull. Yay! Plop that right down there in the middle oh, of that. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, that did look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh. Hold on, let me make this look really pretty. What are you doing? Well, you smeared my bed of marinara. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oh, shoot. See, this is what happens. Okay. There! That Beautiful. Okay, is no. gorgeous. That's lasagna, I think, at least in appearance. And look at that, it's not runny. You I let know. it sit I for know. a little bit, you see? took care of the water situation early on, and now it's just perfect. Okay, let's eat it. All right. Let's see how it is. <laughs> I mean, it, as far as presentation it's exactly what oh you'd God, want to get to messy sorry there we go oh wow oh yeah it's, it's five layers folks that, yeah so. it's like a oh okay come on people. cheesy yummy goodness oh, i mean that so cheese pole 
Oh, oh. I can't even. Mm. <laughs> Is your heart just warmed? Mm. I can feel your heart warming. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> That is so good. Mm. That's a good. That's mm. a good lasagna. Oh, it's the best. This is the best lasagna that I've ever had, and it's not because I'm prejudiced or anything like well, that. Well, you're a little <laughs> partial, but and you know why? It's because you've been making it and perfecting it for years. Oh, well, I mean, I I do love to I love to make lasagna, oh. and I love. We, I also have, a, you know, very mm. traditional Italian way to do it mm. is you know with a. Um, just mm. to make your homemade pasta mm. and, and do a bashmal and, and all of that sort of stuff, but this is really good. That's so good. Happy anniversary. That is, oh, that's 1,000% <laughs> ludicrous! 1,000? Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for this all day. I've been, it's like I've been waiting it's for our so anniversary. so good. What anniversary? I mean, let's pretend well, this it's is... it's not really our anniversary. We but if it were, it. The, our next one is 30 years, isn't it? Oh. We're about to have a 30-year really anniversary. Have to Say that out loud. Mm -hmm, I, am. <laughs> I feel old. Isn't that amazing? Now yep. you can get this recipe and many more oh on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh. Yeah. Oh, go to our social media, like and share us, and do all of that great stuff. And man, oh man, yeah. make lasagna. Make lasagna. Make a lasagna for your honey. Make a lasagna. And if you don't have a honey, make it for us. Yeah, because trust <laughs> me, if you make this, you're going to have lots of honeys. <laughs> Showing up at your doorstep. Totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Swat them off. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. more. Mmm. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yay. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>